Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to show you guys a new video about how to fix one of these Ryobi lithium 40 volt batteries that uh, says it's defective when you charge it. This will only work for the older style batteries. I have a newer style battery that still works. Um, they do fit interchangeably, but uh, they changed the boards in these newer ones, so it doesn't work. So just FYI, this fix will only work on these older batteries. Okay, so to take this battery apart, you're going to use a T15 Torx head, and there's four screws. One, two, three, four. So go ahead and take those apart. You'll also need to use a flathead screwdriver just to pry it once and it'll pop open. So I'll go ahead and get it to that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the reason these batteries say they're defective is because the voltage drops below 30 volts and the batter battery can no longer recognize it. So to fix the battery, we need to boost the voltage. We don't need to charge the entire battery. We just need to boost the voltage to about 35 volts, 40 volts, and it'll be recognized by the charger again. Um, well, you can tell the voltage first by taking the voltmeter and putting the negative terminal on the CL1 negative lead here, and then hooking the positive terminal to here. If your battery is below 30 volts, that's why it's not working. So uh, what you want to do is you want to take your just any small gauge wire because you're not charging it with a lot of amperage. You're just charging it. You're kind of trickle charging it, boosting it up. So you're going to take your negative CL1 wire. You're going to solder it to here. And then you're going to have the wire come along these screws and then out the end. So once again, you're going to solder it here and bring it along here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a small drill bit and drill a hole right in the corner of this black area. And the wire will come out right there. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like once you get that lead soldered. You want to solder it here to the CL1 negative. You want to have it follow along this line here. And um, once you kind of go to install it, you can get it to tuck right between these two screws. There's nothing that really pushes down on this, so it shouldn't short out or anything. And then if you make the hole level with this board, it goes right through. So I'll go ahead and get uh, the top on and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so everything's put back together. Put the four torque screws in. Uh, sometimes you do have to squeeze a little bit as you're screwing the torch screw. Um, I don't see that you have to get it super tight together, but uh, I did get it pretty snug. So basically to charge the battery up to a voltage that the battery charger will recognize again, we're going to use a boost converter. So what this does is it takes 12 volts from a 12 volt adapter out of the wall, so AC to DC adapter. This is a 12 volt, 3.5 amp adapter. So you have the 12 volt come in, positive, negative, and then you adjust this voltage um, when that's plugged in to 40 volts, and then you plug in the battery leads. So what I did is I soldered up some wires here so that uh, I can charge multiple batteries. So I have a positive, the positive wire coming off the converter to the positive lead here, and then the negative wire coming off and going to the lead that we created. And uh, if you have this sit for 15 to 20 minutes, it will bring the battery voltage up and charge the battery to a point where the battery will be recognized by the original charger. So let's go ahead and see what this is sitting at. So take the voltmeter. Stick that in there. Hopefully that'll work. And then okay, you can see it's at 28.9. It's 
almost to 30. Uh, I'd say once it's about 35, 35 volts, I'll go ahead and plug it in on the charger. And uh, yeah, I will have this uh, boost converter uh, in the description, as well as a 12 volt power adapter and uh, the eBay listing where I brought, purchased these batteries. Let's go ahead and see if it worked. Okay, so I'm here in the garage. Just want to test this out. I did the mod on all four of these batteries. So let's go ahead and take one. Just to show you, it's not full. This is what it looks like after charging to about 35 volts using that boost converter. Let's see, oh, yep, there it goes, it's flashing green. Flashing green means it's charging. Flashing green and red means it's defective. So that's what it was doing before. Now it's charging, which is great. So it looks like if you're looking to fix one of your Ryobi 40 volt batteries, the older ones, it's a simple fix is uh, just doing what you saw in this video. I will give a little caution. Um, you know, I did leave these wires hanging out. This is basically a negative terminal on the battery. Uh, you want to make sure we uh, cap that off so you don't have any uh, short circuits. I'm probably going to trim these down and cap them off so that I can still use if I need to in the future. And also, um, because the batteries were drained um, down pretty low for a long period of time, um, they might not have as much capacity as before. I still need to do some testing on that, so this might not be the most amazing thing, but it did get the batteries functioning again, so with a little testing I'll be able to find out if it does have uh, the same capacity as before. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, please put them in the uh, section, the comment section below, and uh, look forward to replying back to you. Also, if you guys want to see any future content, go ahead and subscribe and like to get this video uh, some more views. Um, just a little sneak peek. Uh, these batteries feature high drain lithium uh, ion batteries. They're 18650 high drain batteries. And I'm um, looking to use these batteries in either an electric skateboard build or a electric scooter build. So uh, keep posted for that video. That one might be coming out in a couple months or so. But uh, I'll probably post another video just to show to if, to, if these batteries have capacity after uh, basically bringing them back from the dead. Anyway, have a great night. We'll see you later.